we kick off with the most popular wrestler on NXT, Trick Williams, coming out with Carmelo Hayes. Then Red Barrett ad libs Trick's theme. It was absolutely hilarious. Trick Willie. <laughs> Anyways, there's a clear difference between Melo and Trick's reactions. After we see the Wolf Dog's entrance where Baron Corbin answers with the motorcycle, looking a little bit like the mid lone wolf character people love. Hey, that's alright, like overrated as fuck in my opinion. Constable Corbin was the best and I stand on that. Then comes our Braun Breaker, also in a motorcycle, looking like a 2025 world champion or something. The match was absolutely amazing, with a lot of good spots. Braun Breaker with an amazing cutter, where it tossed Melo to the top first. He also got caught in the ropes after exploding to hit the clothesline. Baron also has cool spots, like literally being yanked out of the ring by Braun Breaker. Yeet! Even Braun Breaker did his own jump to the outside. This man cannot fail in the main roster. After a bunch of what looks like botch moves from Trick and Corbin, Braun hits the most explosive spear on Melo for the win and wins the Dusty Cup. This is probably the last match for Braun in NXT and good riddance. At some point I know they will beef with Baron and I'm here for it. Gatorade! Braun Breaker is ready. He made his spots and did them great. Bring him up. Most definitely an unexpected quality match, each individual, but diversity and talent. The one Cody, I'm not but, I'm a fan, was a fan anyway. Joe Creative vs Dijak was a match I didn't expect to like as much as I did. These guys bring out different, by contrasting styles. When they brought the trash can in, it was hilarious, using it in ways I haven't seen in a while. Can this even be possible in the main roster? And this was amazing. Dijak, Dijak also went flying to the table, taking an insane bump. There were so many elements in this match that were so great, like duct tape, like duct tape uses a blinding mechanism, creating one of the funniest and clever spots. Dijak took so much from Gracie at some point, I thought he was gonna lose, but he was able to fight through the mind games from Gracie and beat him for the one 2 3 Absolutely amazing match. Oh, yes, sir. Joey is one of my favorites on NXT. Interesting character and moves quickly. Dijak is great also. Joey Gracie is your new Bray Wyatt mixed with the little Kevin Owens. We won Cody vs Roman at WrestleMania. The Family vs OTM was also another fun match. D'Angelo is absolutely great, especially when he first made his character debut. Who put this thing together? Me! That's who! He was so over at the time, I thought it was about time he won a singles title. He won the tag team road though, but I think he's, he's ready now. And anyways, the match has some cool spots. Like Stax being thrown out of the ring after looking to be passed out. Rizzo fighting off his appearances and stealing the match by jumping off the ring. There was obviously a Tony making match because he was very dominant here. And hits the spine buster for the finish and takes the win for La Familia. When you match with the family, you pay the price. This match was so fun, thanks to Rizzo. We still want Cody! Roxanne versus Lara ended up being a triple threat because Lola cashed in her contract. She did absolutely earlier than you would expect, but this made for an absolutely great match. Oh, yes, sir. So many near falls at some point, I thought literally anybody can win this. They did an amazing job keeping us hooked. Roxanne eventually got taken out, leaving Lola and Lara in the ring. It seemed to be going in the way of Lola, but nope. Lara shows why she's the champion and takes the win, retaining the championship. This was a star making show. Lola can only go higher from this. She did absolutely amazing, adding to the fun of this match. Never back down, never what? Bakera and Perez putting on one hell of a show. Bakera learning championship lessons in this for sure. I guess she loves to give Tatum her flowers which for the save. Lara and Roxanne are my new favorites. Lara and Roxy are awesome fighters. We won Cody! Over vs Dragon Lee was also a great match. NXT doesn't miss. This motherfucker don't miss. This was a fun David vs Goliath match where Dragon Lee was putting in an amazing effort to slay the beast and Oba always countering him stronger and more ferocious. Not around here, partner. Great spots too, especially the commentary chess spots look pretty dope. I won't lie, as impressive as Oba is, the main roster will find a way to nerf him. These are superstars never make it in WWE main roster, but he has a lot of potential. If you debut him with the Bobby Lashley group, it's a slap. Oba Feeney destroys Dagon Lee for the win. Yeah. Oba's power is just unbelievable. Owafemi is what almost wants it to be. This guy is the most dominant North American champion. Cody vs. Roman at WrestleMania 40 or else I'm not watching WWE ever again. Trick Williams, the most over man in WWE, fights his second match. 
This man is so over, it's crazy. Even people would have bought Dragunov. So many good spots too with Dragunov helping Trick William with his selling. As much as Trick is popular, he's still a bit sloppy in the ring, which is fine. But he is still able to put on decent showings. They eventually use the knee injury thing to make us believe he will lose immediately. Dragunov looks to have finished with Trick, but he actually kicks out, leaving Carmelo Hayes completely shocked and bewildered. But then Trick kicks Dragunov and it seems like a crowding moment. But Dragunov actually kicks out. At this point, everyone was absolutely invested in this match. Then the referee got knocked out of the ring. That's when Trick William hits Dragunov with a running knee, having him beat for the 10 count. But when the referee came out, he kicked out a two. This was absolutely intense, and at this point, everyone is in their last legs. When Trick and Dragunov went head to head and collided with their moves. But unlucky for Trick, Dragunov won the challenge and they beat him for the title and retains. <laughs> then something I absolutely expected happened when Kamado Hayes turns on Trick Williams by blasting him on the knee. He then went to completely destroy his knee with a chair to the fans absolutely booing and cussing him. I think Melo might have a legendary heel run and none of us expected. So you can always get bigger from this but I'm extremely interested in how Melo would do with all of this. NXT was a W. Melo really turned heel on his bestie trick during Black History Month. I saw this betrayal coming. Melo was getting jealous of trick. We want Cody. We want Cody versus Roman in Mania 40. We want Cody. We want Cody versus Roman in Mania 40. We want Cody, Scarface America. We want Cody, Justice for Cody. 